found a blueprint. A blueprint. What is this strange apparatus? Maybe Dr. Zux could enlighten me. Ernestine, where can I find Dr. Zux? He's with a patient at the moment upstairs. All of Dr. Brunner's patients have been transferred to him for the time being, so he has plenty of work. Think I could talk to any of them? Of course. You should start with Caroline. Dr. Brunner spent a lot of time with her. Oh, and make sure you grab a surgical mask before you go upstairs. Doctor, sorry to bother you. I meant to ask. Now is a bad time, Miss Myers. Caroline, try to relax. Damn it. Miss Myers, some help. I need leg braces. Quick. Hurry up. Pass me the leg braces. There you go. What's him over here? One of the patients is in critical condition. 
there's some adrenaline in the zeal. Let's move. I'll get the adrenaline. You grab a syringe from the cupboard. Some assistance. We've got this. Just a little longer. Everything's okay. Do you think I'll be able to talk to the patient anytime soon? It's hard to tell, but definitely not right now. I'm sorry you've had to witness this, Miss Myers. That's okay. Glad I could help. Speaking of help, could you tell me what this blueprint is of? That's an iron lung. Carl was working on it. It's a ventilator that encloses a patient and stimulates breathing by varying the pressure inside. So, essentially, it's a device that breathes for you? Correct. Except Carl couldn't get it to work, and he hadn't made any progress with it in quite a while. It was a distraction from working on the vaccine more than anything else. I see. Is there anything else? I'm quite tight on time, unfortunately. No problem, Doctor. I've kept you long enough. Miss Myers! Miss Myers, wait! I didn't have a chance to thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Let me know if there's anything else you need. I'd be delighted to have you come over this evening. I'd love to. Splendid. I'll see you later. Looks like the police already cleared out. There are a couple of things I need to discuss with Uli. I should head off to the police station, in that case. Anna, we were just about to close the case. Everything's conclusive. It was an unfortunate accident. I'm closing it as soon as Dirk fills out his part of the paperwork. I? Anna, there is nothing else to look into. We've got to draw the line somewhere. I understand. I'd like to have a word with Dirk. Is he down there? Yes, I'll be with you shortly. Dirk? Looks like you already met with Uli. Yes. And I can't say I'm surprised. So there's no time to waste. I'm still working on the fingerprints. Did you manage to open the scratched up lockbox Uli brought earlier? I didn't. Well, where is it? In this cabinet. The key should be around there somewhere. Okay. Keep working on those fingerprints. I've got it.
was easier than expected. The lockbox is in the cabinet. Any progress? I've just cracked the lockbox, and we were about to see what's inside. <gasps> I don't understand. Me neither. Why would Dr. Brunner scratch an empty box? Maybe he was alluding to something that should have been. Maybe somebody cleared it out before we got to the hospital. Or maybe the scratches have nothing to do with the case and were made prior to the accident. In any case, it's not enough for us to proceed with the investigation. Something is off with this accident. Uli, you see it too, don't you? The skull, the full mug of coffee. This scratched, empty lockbox. There are too many strange details to write them all off as pure chance. If you look close enough, everything becomes strange. You're losing perspective. If you'll excuse me, I've got something. What is it? As you may know, paper is a fibrous material. It absorbs oils really well. It's near impossible to get rid of it, even right after light contact. You could try to do so with rubber or a bit of water. But I think it's still possible to trace. What exactly did you find? Is it a fingerprint on one of the papers? Yes. No. Well, not exactly. It's what I didn't find. The death note is absolutely clean. There's no trace of skin oils whatsoever. Are you absolutely certain there's no trace? I double-checked. He could have been wearing gloves. Correct, except there were no gloves at the scene. Is Dr. Bruner's pen here? Yes, it's among the rest of the evidence. 